Hello and welcome. In this course, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to, be, to make your own website. In this course, I'm going to be teaching you how to program in HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Before we go too in-depth, there are a few guidelines to how I think you should learn to get the most out of this course. First, make sure to take frequent breaks in between the lessons. No one's pressuring you to finish this course in a single sitting, so feel free to sit back and take your time. Second, make sure that you're in a quiet place so that you can absorb what's being taught more easily. Finally, and most importantly, instead of following this class to a T, try to add your own spin on things so you can learn better through trial and error. Now, without further ado, let's move on with this course. As I said previously, you're going to be learning HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. These names might sound a bit odd to you. They're called languages. Whenever somebody programs, they have to to be using a programming language. A programming language is a method of programming. For example, HTML is used to display things. That's all it can do. To make your website seem smart or make a game out of it, you can use the JavaScript language. Then to style your website or make it look nicer or different, you have to use CSS. Before we move on to CSS and JavaScript, let's focus a bit more on HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. You don't have to memorize that abbreviation. HTML is used a lot in the internet. In fact, almost every page on the internet is made using HTML. HTML is when somebody is what someone someone views when they first access your site. No, the only way that, you, that the things that you program in your CSS and JavaScript files can actually be seen is in the HTML. When we code in HTML, we use things called elements. Every HTML element is inside of a tag. A tag is like a less than and greater than symbol. Inside of the less than and greater than symbols is the name of the tag. There are two types of tags, open and closed. An open tag doesn't have a slash in front of its name, and a closed tag does. An open tag has to have the same name as the closed tag. If you want to open a tag, if you open a tag, if you type an open tag without closing it, there will be an error. There are a lot of different types of tags that all do different things. Here we wrote some code to make a title. The word test is in between the title tag, and the title tag is in between the head tag, and everything is inside of the HTML. Let's look at that a bit more closely. Just like a piece of paper, HTML is where you, is where you write what is seen to other people. Anything you write on that paper is what is seen. If you don't write it on the paper, it's invisible. At the top of the paper, there is a header. The header contains the title of your website. Remember that the header is always inside of the HTML. Just like a normal paper, the body contains all of the content of your web page. The tag that we use for the body is called body. We can write text inside of it too. Thank you for watching. This has been part one of making your own website.